Today we are visiting the West Everett Estates, built like Sanctuary Hills, it was supposed to be the suburb of tomorrow. And it actually extends out quite a bit, there's several buildings that were under construction. Moving inside, they are occupied now by several super mutants, and uh, Hammer and his squad occupy the main bit. It was under the control of raiders briefly, and before that, settlers. But if we go to the back of this ruined house, you can actually see a safe. And inside one of the rare items in the game, you can get yourself a silver bar, as well as a grenade and some ammo. Seems whoever was trying to open it uh, didn't have a lucky time of it. Now, let's head straight on in. You can get a hazmat suit. There's several hollow tapes we'll pick up, and uh, a lot of super mutants. It's one of the most dangerous places early on in the game. Simply because the firepower needed to take time, these super mutants is mighty. We'll also be learning about the story of this location. So, firstly, let's head on in to Lance's house. And just before we access his terminal, you'll notice over here, he has the full collection of Gwynnet Ale, Brew, Lager, Pale, P uh, P Pilsner, Pilsner, and Stout. All of them in one place. Quite a... Quite a rare find that is. If you want it for your settlement, for some decoration, good place to start. Now, you'll notice there's safe control, spotlight control, and some logs for Lance. Let's have a read of it. Home. November 8th, 2077. I can't believe we finally made it back home. We were on the freeway in Connecticut when it all went down, and thank God we bailed in the cars. Took us more than a week to make it back here on foot, and the things we saw, I never thought I'd see happen in America. Leon and I talked about the plan to wall up the neighbourhood, but I don't think we can do it on our own. And we need Janet to keep the kids safe. Maybe some of the neighbours made it out okay. I might scout out a bit while it's still dark. They actually pulled all of the uh, containers from the Irish Pride shipyards not that far away. Uh, so we finally got the walls finished with Wayne's help. Still can't believe that egghead made it out. I feel like such an idiot for laughing at his bunker all summer. He's even got fresh water down there. Leon, on this is March, so a few months later. God give me strength not to kill my brother, Leon. Uh, him and I were out scouting earlier and hid out in a building while we heard a group pass by. Twelve men armed with guns and bats and wearing some kind of makeshift armour. Leon recognised one of them from when he was running with the mob and called out to them before I could stop him. The damn idiot started running his mouth off like nothing had happened and tells them we've got a walled fort. They let us go, but I can tell from the glint in their eyes, we'll be seeing them again. Hey, this thing still works. Controls and all the lights too. Wicked. Damned asshole sh uh, should have just left and given us the fort. Now he's dead and it's ours anyway. He probably just stole the place from someone else anyway. That dumbass Leon even pissed himself and joined us when we overran the place. We'll probably use the idiot as a meat shield the next time we head into the city. So we can tell from that that Lance died, his brother joined the crew um, after surrendering. Now if we go through here, Lance had this place booby trapped. Although it's strange that uh, the booby traps are still in place considering the raiders were using the building. Perhaps they set it up afterwards when the super mutants decided to roll in. Now there's a few other buildings you can visit and you can find the remains of all the raiders as well as full complements of food. The kitchen here, well stocked, as the transition, you know, from settlers, like Lance and Wayne, eventually into the raiders, and from that, it went into the super mutants, who don't really care for a lot of the food and stuff lying around. They don't really like that. This is the southern gate, and if you take a little journey just up the hill, as we're here, I may as well show you, you can get yourself a suit of power armor. Power armor. Right up on... I went up the wrong hill, didn't I? Yep, hill over to this side. It's a crash site of a string ray. A few APCs and a protectron who will normally find himself engaged with the enemy. In my case, some exo one power armor, so that's pretty good. Now, if we run back here, you'll notice the mutant hounds patrol the outside as well as several patrols. Trying to be stealthy with them around is very difficult. So, if we move on into our next house here, 
you can find a few super mutants just wandering about complaining about things. They'll normally come out to join you and one of them has a missile launcher, including the main boy Hammer, who will be uh, just sort of sulking about in the area. You can see they even had a farm operation going on. This was quite a well kept place, would have been quite the settlement if they had expanded it more. Hammer can be found here, more importantly it's hollow tape, which is quite humorous, so we'll play it for you all to enjoy. He got one of the raiders to use it. Human, did you make the machine work? Good. Ah. Fist, this is Hammer. I got a human to make the machine work. We found a good place. Already has walls and water. Some human made a tiny room underground with many good things inside. Send more people so we can raid more. We give you these guns for trade. Okay, human. Make the machine stop recording now. Human, not time for sleep. Stop bleeding and work the machine. Ah, fine. So, Fist is the super mutant that occupies Trinity Tower, technically the leader of all of them um, in the area, and obviously Hammer was doing a trade. It's presumed he got a, one of the uh, raiders to use the machine, or maybe a human they dragged along, and uh, obviously uh, he killed them as he was using it, so they weren't of much use. Now, let's talk about the super mutant armor you can find here. There is a cage helmet in the back of this uh, truck here, and if you want the... They're, they're like big, heavy pieces of armor. I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but it's up here. There they are. Yeah, if you want the Super Mutant Change, you can find them in here. Now, there is a Boston Mayor bathroom key for the mayoral shelter. It can be found usually inside this dresser. I believe I've already picked it up in this uh, run, so it will be in that house there. Super Mutants are occupying the water tower. Uh, so they will be dispatched the moment you make any sign of a threat to them. And it's one of the few places in the game you can be guaranteed to find a Ripper. Now let's head into the backyard bunker now. This belonged to Wayne and him and his kids were camped down here. New Coca-Cola Quantum on the table and plenty of supplies including a hazmat suit. So it's again one of the few places you can guarantee a hazmat suit and a Ripper. Quite rare. First aid. Steamer trunk. And Wayne's terminal. Now let's have a read and see from his perspective how things were going. Made at home. October 26th, 2077. The boys cried themselves to sleep. It's been three days since the bombs fell and everything's gone to shit. Our director up at MedTech got advance notice and if I hadn't put that code into his terminal that forwarded his logs to me, I would have been trapped there along with everyone else when the lockdown kicked in. So if you don't know much about MedTech research, it gives you a bit of an idea as to why they were all trapped there. Uh, I had to make my way on foot to Malden to get the boys. I'm so proud of them for remembering the plan. Uh, Mitchell, Ma or Michael, managed to get David away from the teachers and they ran and hid like I told them instead of going into the vault. We made it back here into the bunker just as the planes started going overhead. We listened to the radio for a while but the station cut out. I can still hear gunfire out there. Bonnie, I don't know if you're still out there but I'm praying you are. And I will show you where Bonnie's, ho Bonnie's hollow tape can be found at the end of the episode. Bonnie, it's been two weeks and I wish you were here. I want so badly to head to the hospital to find you, but Boston is too dangerous and I can't leave the boys on their own. Little David keep ask, keeps asking when Mama is coming home. And Michael has started to glare at me when I say you're still at the hospital helping people. I've been listening to the intermittent reports on the radio after they've all gone to bed and I think I overheard one where they said that about the fighting in the city. It sounds like the fighting is really bad. I hope you're safe, hon. Now, this is January, so it sort of goes into Lance's side of things. It's been three months since the bombs fell and I left the bunker for the first time last night. Our plan to tap into the main from the water tower worked, but the piping took more than duct tape, or more duct tape than expected and was leaking pretty bad. We didn't have any more in the house, so I tried to sneak over to the Cobb's house across the street. He was working with a construction crew in the neighborhood, so I figured he might have some. I was in Ron's den when he had been working on the Nuka-Cola machine and must not have heard him 
over the distant gunfire and explosions. There was just that cold barrel pushed up against the back of my head suddenly. He told me to turn around slowly, and oh god, Bonnie, his face. The radiation had hit him hard. His hair was falling out and his face looked melted. I begged him to stop, but he put the gun in my mouth and cocked back the hammer. I heard the gunshot when I opened my eyes, Ron fell to the floor, and I spotted Lance from down the street on the roof. He saw the whole thing and saved my life. Said he's got a plan and to meet him tomorrow. Happy birthday, Bonnie. I don't know if you're still out there, but it's your 30th. So David and Michael made you a cake. It didn't really turn out well, but I let them open a can of frosting, which was nice. The Amazies and I have been busy the past few months. Lance and his brother has been on their way back from vacation to New York with their families when the bombs fell. It took them weeks to make it back, mostly on foot. They had a plan to build a wall around the neighbourhood, and after he had saved my life, I could hardly say no. So, to get the biggest part done, in a night we stole a couple of trucks from the Irish Pride shipyard nearby. I didn't ask how Leon knew how to hotwire a truck, and Lance had us pull them around to the edges of the yard to start the wall. Truth be told, I flipped mine damn near took out the house. It was another month before we had the rest of the wall finished, and we've been keeping watch shifts ever since. The kids have all enjoyed getting to come outside. Now, there is a safe control, but more importantly, we have David's hollow tape. Let's have a listen to that before we go find Bonnie's one. Because you can kind of see what happened at the end here. Mama, this is David. The Batman came back. I saw the shoe Mr. Lance and he fell off the roof. Michael said he'd be okay, but he's not moving. David, come on. Dad said we had to grab our stuff. No! I have to leave a note for Mama so she can find us. Stop it! Boys, come on. We're leaving. Now! Michael, grab your brother. There's no time. They'll be back any second. So Jangles is still up in the bed, so obviously David didn't get him in time. And uh, the father and the two sons ran off. Now, it's not clear entirely where they ended up. Presumably, they did make it, though. We know Leon joined up and Lance died. So, given everything, uh, <laughs> the raiders came, they fled. Uh, there are a few skeletons over near an unmarked uh, scorpion nest due east, near the radio tower. Again, I don't want to believe... There's the scorpion just crawling about in the background near that pylon. I don't want to believe they didn't make it. You know, that makes for a more interesting story if we don't know. It's a pity we never found out where they had ended up. That would have been pretty cool. Now, they talked about Bonnie, the mother, mother and uh, I only recently found her holotape, so I'm going to take you to the Mass Bay Medical Center to show you the holotape so you can hear the rest of the story from Bonnie's perspective as things were going on. I should mention before we go there, the West Everett Estates is based near the Taffington Boathouse and Irish Pride Industry slap bang in the middle of the map. Once you reach the Mass Bay Medical Center where Bonnie was working away, head straight on in. Once in the Mass Bay Medical Center, you want to fight your way through all of the gunners in order to make it to the room that Bonnie was working in. You can only go so far up the stairs, so carry on into this room through here. Take the staircase up. See a few of the gunners just sitting around here. And now you can carry on up the stairs. What we want to take is this elevator right here, up to the next level. Once up, it's a short journey to get to Bonnie's room. Just need to walk your way around. There's also some power armor here that the raider will nor or the gunner will normally run to. So if you take them out before they get in it, make your life a bit easier. And right in here, into this room, is Bonnie's hollow tape. So let's listen it, to it and complete the whole story. Wait. I'm leaving this message with Marcy in case you come looking for me. Though I pray you don't. The military took over the hospital, and everything's gone to hell in the city. Things here, they're... It's bad, Wayne. People are dying every day, and most of the time all we can do is watch and try to make them comfortable. One of the other nurses told me she heard a radio signal that sounded like you and the boys. I don't know if it's true. If 
You're still out there. But we've got a way out. And I'm going to try to find you. So obviously, Bonnie got out. It's hard to tell if she was there for months. Um, but when she did, clearly she didn't make it back to him within about six months of the bombs falling. So perhaps Bonnie didn't make it. Although it's not entirely clear as to how that all ended up. There is a mostly complete set of T-45 though inside this building. So not a bad find. The gunner commander, that is between you and the suit. A vertebrae crashed into the roof here as well. So everything at the hospital was just going to hell. But if you want to learn more about Mass Bay Medical, be sure to check out that video. Thank you for watching the West Everett's.